A major mishap at India's Kozikod airport has left 18 people dead and over 100 injured after an Air India Express aircraft arriving from Dubai crashed at Calicut International Airport. The Boeing 737 aircraft skidded off the runway after overshooting while landing. The flight number AXB 13444 overshot the runway in rainy conditions and went down 35 feet as it slid down a slope. The aircraft crashed while it attempted to land for a third time at Calicut International Airport. The first attempt was aborted by the pilots because of heavy monsoon season rainfall lashing Kerala. The aircraft made two attempts to land before the accident happened in the third attempt. The aircraft circled the airport several times and made two attempts to land. The aircraft lay split into at least two chunks after the plane's fuselage shredded apart. This was a Vande Bharat flight, one of the repatriation flights operated by the Indian government to bring back nationals stranded abroad due to the COVID-19 travel restrictions. <laughs> According to Air India Express, flight had 190 people on board, 173 passengers including 10 infants, 5 cabin crew and 2 pilots were on board. 18 people are reported dead including the 2 pilots while others have been injured and are being treated in hospitals. Now the Calicut International has a tabletop runway which is located at an altitude and with steep drops at one of both ends. In preliminary report, Civil Aviation Minister Hardeep Singh Puri has said that authorities managed to rescue most of the passengers because the plane did not catch fire while descending the slope. In an interim relief gesture, compensation of uh, rupees 10 lakh has been announced to the next of those deceased in the accident, rupees 2 lakh for those critically injured and 50,000 rupees for those who have suffered minor injuries. A formal investigation into the crash has been ordered by the Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau or the AAIB. Rescue operations are now complete and the injured are being treated at various city hospitals. In a first reaction after the crash, a passenger who survived the crash shared his experience saying that the pilot tried his best to land safely. Second time, time tear kya bol rahe hai skid ho gaya bol rahe lekin bahut left side bahut bada gartan tha bol rahe 36 feet ka upar tha gartan usi mein sudden break ho gaya sab log belt bent tha sab log hum log kya ki kar diya samne ka seat mein haath de ke usme hum self bachane ki koshish kiya abhi kya gartan mein chala gaya freight aadha ho gaya open ho gaya Directorate General of Civil Aviation official has informed that a digital flight data recorder has been recovered from the aircraft. Floorboard is being cut to retrieve cockpit voice recorder. Two special relief flights have been arranged from Delhi and one from Mumbai for rendering humanitarian assistance to all the passengers and the family members. AAIB, DGCA and flight safety departments have reached the accident site to investigate the cause of the incident. This is a chilling reminder of another passenger aircraft accident in India in 2010 when another Air India Express flight from Dubai overshot the tabletop runway at Mangalore and slid down a hill killing 158 people. 
let us tell you why a tabletop runway is considered risky for landing. The runway is built on top of a hill and is surrounded by deep gorges on both sides. It creates an optical illusion due to which the landing requires a very precise approach by the pilot. Several international airlines do not operate in airports which have tabletop runways. Three Indian airports have tabletop runways and two of them have been the sites of major plane accidents. The Calicut International Airport, which uh, was the site of Friday's Air India crash, was opened in 1981. It is uh, Kerala state's third busiest airport. Then there's the Mangalore International Airport, which became operational in 1951. It is the Karnataka state's second busiest airport. The airport was the site of the 2010 Air India crash in which 158 people were killed. The plane skidded off the runway just like the Air India Express at Calicut Airport. The Lengpui Airport was inaugurated in 1998, situated in Mizoram's capital, Aizwal. It operates only domestic flights. The airport has installed a landing system to help planes during low visibility. Condolences pour in following the unfortunate accident at Calicut Airport. World leaders following closely the Air India crash landing in Kazikode, Kerala and sending in their thoughts and prayers for all those affected by this accident. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and several other political leaders have offered their condolences over the tragic incident. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also spoke to Kerala Chief Minister Pinaray Vijayan over the phone about the plane crash. Kerala Chief Minister Vijayan informed Prime Minister Modi that a team of officials including Kozikod and Mallapuram district collectors and IG Ashok Yadav have arrived at the airport and are participating in the rescue operations which is now complete. President Ramnath Kovind expressed his distress over the incident and said he spoke to Kerala governor to inquire about the situation. U.S. Department of State also expressed condolences to the families of the passengers killed in this accident. High Commissioner of Canada in India, Nadir Patel, said they are following the update on the tragic incident. China's ambassador to India, Sun Wai Dong, also tweeted, saying, shocked to hear about the tragic accident of Air India Express aircraft in Kerala. My deep condolences to the families of the victims. Wish a quick recovery of the injured. And Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan is among those who expressed solidarity. He tweeted, sudden to hear of the Air India plane crash in Kerala state, leading to loss of innocent lives, strength to the bereaved families in their difficult hours.